Thank you for joining me today for another Ready, Set, Create tutorial with me, Nicole. And today we're going to draw a hummingbird using pencil and then inking with a waterproof pen. So what you need first is some kind of paper, a pencil, definitely an eraser. I know I'm going to need it. And then I have a waterproof pen because I might end up adding color to the, my hummingbird later. And if I do, I'm not quite sure what I wanna use yet. So if it's watercolor, then I definitely want it to be waterproof so I don't smudge my lines later. Okay, so we're going to do a hummingbird that is flying and we're gonna start with the head and I'm just gonna kind of sketch out shapes and then we'll go back and we'll sharpen those up. So we're gonna start with the head and just a little round kind of an oval -ish shape. We're gonna work out the body. So we're doing another oval and this is the chest and the back. And then we're gonna have a wing come out here. Actually, I wanna make that a little bit more flat. do a little triangle so this is where the wings the wing feathers connect and then we're going to go straight out and connect our wing there so we have a little triangle and then kind of a big half circle almost triangle type shape all right then let's go down here and do some of the tail we're going to sketch it we're not quite connecting triangle here. Another little part that goes here. And this part goes down here. Now these are just guidelines because when we go back with pen, we'll really firm up some of the details and the shapes of the different parts of the hummingbird. Okay, and then of course we need its long beak. So it's kind of near the top, very long straight and skinny. Now we're going to add the eye in and that's just going to be a little circle here. So now we have a basic hummingbird shape. I'm going to go back and even though I'm going to do some erasing later, I'm going to go ahead and erase some of these lines that I don't need already. Okay, so mostly those there. Do this one near the head. Okay, so we have that roughed out with our pencil. And I don't think I'm gonna need my pencil again. So I'm gonna start with the top of the head and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit flatter than I did for my pencil. I'm gonna come down where this little line comes here and then I'm actually gonna make it fold out there. So it's gonna swoop down kind of a straight line where the feathers connect to the body. And then I'm not gonna do this part yet because I'm gonna have some feathering and I don't want it to be a straight line. So we're gonna do the back. And then we'll do some of the tail feathers. This is gonna be pretty straight. I'm just gonna do one side because there's gonna be more feathers there. Here. I'm gonna leave that for now. Come back up to the neck. I'm gonna make this a little bit like he's poofed out his chest or her chest. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna actually skip that line a little bit. Make a little bit jagged edge because he has some little feathers sticking at the bottom because of the angle. And then what I'm gonna do is, we had a circle going here, but I'm going to shape it so it actually goes in and connects there. So that's what we have so far for there. I'm gonna make this just a little smaller. And then we can go ahead and ink out our beak, making it very, very thin like that. Okay, and I definitely want my eye here and I'm only gonna do the outside because I'm gonna make sure I leave a little space for a white highlight in there but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I'm gonna go back to the wing. So with the wing, I'm gonna make it a little bit bumpy right here, just cause there's some feathers in there. 
And then this will go as straight as we can, a little curve at the tip right there. And so this line right here is not going to be exactly smooth. So then we're going to start adding some very long feathers. And as we go, it's going to be thicker out here and get thinner in there once we get towards the body. And we'll go ahead and do some more like that. Keep going down for a little ways. Let's see, might do one more. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna have to come back and do a little bit more. But with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit ripply. And then I can attach all my feathers here. Okay, and down here, we're just going to have some light, wispy feathers. So they're not all connected, just very light and wispy. We're going to make some short ones in here, doing a little bit of detail. Okay. So then we'll go down and we'll do some more on the tail because we have feathers down here that we need to put in place. But we're gonna add this part first. So this is folded under here, like that. And then we're gonna take this one and go up there, the next one there and there. So we have those done. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, but we'll probably be able to fit in a few more feathers there. Like that. Okay, so now we can do a little bit more detail. We'll start down here. And we're just making a few rows of short feathers. That's looking good. Okay, so on our hummingbird, we want to kind of define where the head is and the little head feathers that might have some more color. So we're going to go like that. Just add a few little loops here and there. Over here, we'll go ahead and make a few little loops. Okay, and then around the eye, we're going to do some detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little highlight right there, a little circle, and then fill in a little bit of the rest. I might leave a little white here and there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a white ring around our hummingbird's eye. So by doing this, is we're actually doing the outside of it, but we won't be shading in that ring, and so it'll look white. Okay, so now we'll add some feathers to the head. And just, it almost looks like little scales. And we want to go in the direction that the little tiny feathers would if we saw this little hummingbird flitting around. They kind of go up and over his head. go all the way over to the beak. As they get to the beak, we're going to make them a lot smaller, shorter, like that. Okay, so now we need to do something with the body here because we have a lot of white space and we don't want it to stay white. So I'm going to very lightly pen in some bigger feathers. And they're not touching and some of the times they don't connect all the way around so it's not one big swoop it's like a little swoop and then I jump a space and then finish it off 
because these feathers on his stomach and his chest are a lot lighter in tone. Now, if I was going to go add color, this part wouldn't matter as much for shading because the color would end up doing a lot of the shading. But since I haven't decided exactly what colors I'm going to use yet or what medium, we'll just do it like I'm going to leave it in pen and ink. So as we get closer to the tail, we're going to make them smaller. Like that. And then on the back here, I haven't made any at all. So on the back, I'm actually going to shade just with some lines because this wing right here is putting a shadow on top of the back. So I'm showing that. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do some shading on the tail. And I'm just adding a little bit of streaks around the little swoop part. So it doesn't go higher than that. We can still see kind of a ring around each individual one. Okay, so sorry, I keep hitting my board there. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna add some shadowing in our tail feathers. And we're gonna just go along the bottom we can make some light and some short ones. And then we'll move on to the next one. And we're only shading the one side. I want to get in between there. Okay, and then we'll continue to go down. And we'll go all the way down these feathers. I would normally turn my paper so I could shade the bottom of it without having to reach it over, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. And that would be unfortunate. Okay, so now we have kind of a stripe thing going on here. We're gonna hop up to the wings here, or the wing that we can see. The other one is probably parallel to this one in the back, which is why we can't see it. And we're gonna do the same kind of thing, but very, very lightly. So we just want to shade the bottom part of the wing. And I'm using the very same pen, but you notice I'm making the same kind of lines, but these are much darker. I'm spacing these out a little bit more and I'm barely letting my pen touch the paper. And because I'm doing that and I'm not being so intentional with my shading, it's much lighter than down here. And as we get closer to these, we're going to do a little bit more shading towards the tips and less towards the body. just because it's on the underside like that okay we'll do a little bit more shading so I'm gonna make a little darker patch right here by adding more of the same little they're kind of like C's I'm just overlapping them on top and it gives it a little shadow there and I'm gonna come on some of these front feathers and just very lightly pick a couple of them that I want to add some detail to. And only the ones on the underside of the belly and the chest. I haven't gone up here yet. Up here, I'm just gonna make a few that are light in the middle of these. Okay, I'm going to make it just slightly darker on the under, 
underneath the belly just to show a little bit more shadow there a little bit more and I'm just making straight lines right now in each of those little feathers Okay, and then there's one part that I haven't touched at all since I outlined it, and that's the beak. So with the beak, I'm going to very carefully, kind of like we did these, I'm just going to go along the bottom. And then I want to go across the top very, very lightly. Because I want my white highlight to be right through the middle there. Okay, something else I'm going to do that I noticed is I need to shadow a little bit more. So I'm making a, those little C shapes right underneath the chin and the neck just to darken it a little bit more. And then inside this ring, I've kind of decided I don't want it quite so white. So I'm just going to add a little bit inside of there. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think I might add just a little shading in here. I'm going to make a few more of those little C's in there just to give some shading. Okay, so I'm liking that how it's turned out. It's perfectly set up that I could leave it as it is or I could add a little bit of color. So you want to wait until your whole um, ink work is finished and let it dry a little bit. I was last over here so I can probably take my eraser and erase any lines. Might be over there. If you get a little too excited and you start erasing too early then it, your eraser will catch some wet ink and it will um, just shoot it off in a direction you don't want it to go. Normally I end up with a black comet going out the other side where I don't want it to be. So I try to be patient and not get too excited to finish it off by erasing it. And there's our hummingbird. I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. And you could definitely find either a picture um, anywhere on the internet or in a book of a hummingbird and then add coloring to it. Or you can make it up your make it up by yourself, maybe make a nice rainbow hummingbird with all kinds of colors and shimmery that would be beautiful so keep drawing and keep painting and i hope you come back for another class thank you